The Dark Sith Lord is back in the news. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about, take a look. Cheney calls for U.S. to restart interrogation programs. Dick Cheney is now uh, making public appearances and acting like everything's hunky-dory and acting like his approval rating wasn't like 18% or something by the time he uh, left office. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what his quote is. He said, if it were my call, I would not dis... I would not discontinue those programs. I'd have them active and ready to go. And I'd go back and study them and learn. I think the techniques we used were not torture. A lot of people try to call it that, but it wasn't deemed torture at the time. People want to get back and try to rewrite history. But if it were my call, I'd do it again. You tell me that the only method we have is please, pretty please, uh, tell us what you know? Well, I don't buy that. Okay, let me discuss the multiple ways in which this is absolutely egregious and embarrassingly stupid. First of all, the, the tactics we used were taken from a communist Chinese uh, manual on how to torture. It was taken from a book that's like, hey, this is how you torture. So to say, oh, it's not torture and people are trying to rewrite history. You're right, people are trying to rewrite history. You. You're trying to rewrite history by saying it's not torture when any objective factual observation of it would conclude very quickly that's torture. Furthermore, it's not, I, I actually kind of despise when people talk about this and only bring up the waterboarding because that's actually like the least of what we did. Now, let me be clear. That is torture, no doubt about it, but it goes way beyond that. So, for example, we did uh, something called hypothermia torture where we poured water on somebody in a cold cell and left them there overnight. Now, guess what? In uh, one of the instances that we use that, we came back in the morning and the person had died. Beyond that, the person who died was totally innocent of any crime at all. So there was hypothermia torture. There was what they call rectal feeding and rectal hydration. Now, in reality, that's a cutesy way of putting a spin on uh, anal rape. Because when you say, hey, rectal feeding or rectal hydration, you know, some people, if they don't know any better, might go, I guess that's a medical thing, maybe? Uh, no, they are sticking a tube up somebody's ass against their own will, which would be anal rape. Um, and, you know, they, doctors have come out and said, that's not a thing that's done. You don't, you don't do that. You don't pump liquid food up somebody's ass. Are you fucking kidding me? That's another thing they did. They did mock burials. They did mo mock burials. They did sleep deprivation. They uh, would tell people, we captured your, uh, your mom and we're going to rape her. This is still all stuff that was done. All uh, in the Senate torture report, matter of record. Now, furthermore, uh, the Senate torture report concludes very clearly, this, uh, we didn't get anything out of this. We, there, nothing, nothing came out of this. So... It's immoral, it's unethical, it's barbaric, it's illegal, it's unconstitutional, and we didn't get anything out of it. So, and, and I still haven't even brought up the biggest point, which is, there was no due process in the first place. Now, I'm not saying if you have due process, then you can torture, because you're, that still shouldn't be a thing, and it would still be illegal and unconstitutional. But what I mean is there was no due process to determine whether or not we got the right people. So, as you guys know, because you watch this show and I bring it up all the time, uh, Bush and Cheney made a deal with warlords in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And basically said to these warlords, hey, listen, you get a reward if you send us uh, Al-Qaeda, because we were just attacked on 9-11 and we got to get the bad guys and yada yada. Well, guess what? The fucking warlords in Pakistan and Afghanistan are not trustworthy people. In fact, there were reports about how uh, one of the cultural practices they engaged in was child rape. There were stories of U.S. soldiers going to places to meet these people, and they have children chained to the fucking bed. And then when those soldiers reported that, they were uh, discharged from the military. I, I, don't forget, I forget if it was honorably or dishonorably discharged. But they blew the whistle on child rape that our allies were doing, and the U.S. government was like, we're going to need you to shut the fuck up about that, because these people are on our side. Child rapists?
So, turns out, warlords in Afghanistan and Pakistan are not trustworthy by any stretch of the imagination. So they just sent us whoever the fuck their enemies were. These weren't terrorists. So we hold people without a trial, indefinitely. We torture them, many of them die. And Dick Cheney is out there, fucking publicly talking about how I would bring these programs back. Thanks, Obama, for not fucking prosecuting these people. This is the problem. This is the problem. They committed all these crimes. Obama didn't prosecute them. And then now, torture is just another debatable issue. That's it. It's just another debatable issue. You know, hey, you want to have a conversation about what the tax rate should be? What do you think the marginal tax rate should be? Oh, I think it should be 50%. Well, I think it should be 35%. Okay, let's debate this and go back and forth. Hey, what's your take on abortion? I think it should be strictly regulated after viability. Oh, well, I think you should allow a woman to make a choice with her own body. Okay, let's debate this issue. Now, there's one side of the political aisle, which is like, uh, I think we should be able to torture people. Or, no, I'm sorry, I forgot to use the term of art. Enhanced interrogation. So now it's just a debatable issue where people say, hey, can we violate the Geneva Conventions and the Nuremberg Tribunals and be war criminals and have that be a normal thing? Yes! Yes! So, this is the problem when you don't torture them, you don't disincentivize this action in the future, and now the U.S. is openly, brazenly, disgustingly a criminal government, and then we hilariously lecture the rest of the world about human rights. Pro tip, if you just offensively invaded a country that didn't attack us and killed minimum 200,000 civilians and you're doing torture as a normal thing, you don't get to talk to anybody about human rights. You can sit down and shut the fuck up. So this is the problem, man. Oh, God, he should be in fucking jail. He should be rotting right now. He should be rotting in prison. But no. <sighs> this evil motherfucker is back on TV and he gets treated with fucking respect? That tells you everything you need to know about the U.S. establishment. About elite media, about, um, you know, the, the, the D.C. establishment. It tells you everything you need to know. That they look at this guy and they're like, yes, the honorable Dick Cheney. It means our war criminals aren't treated as war criminals, they're treated as heroes. And that's the saddest thing I've ever seen.